Hi everyone, welcome back to the my channel. My name is Anil and in this video we are going to learn that how we can pass the data from child to parent com component. So these three are the major points of the video. We will make a child component. After that we will make the function in the parent component and pass to the child component. We will call this function from child and value will be automatically returned to the parent component. All right. So before going to start, I'm just going to tell you, please watch this video completely because at the last of this video, I'm just going to ask the interview question, which is very important for the Angular developer. And if you just want to get our other video, then you can find the link in the description box. So now let's first of all make a child component. So I'm just going to make a component with the name of user. So let's use ng g for generate component and it's component and component can be like users and just hit the data now you can see that we got a new component inside the app all right now how we can use this as you know we can just get the selector from here app dot users and if you just want to use this component you can just use this selector as a tag like this all right and make this um, some h1 tag so that we can just clearly watch the user component perfect so let's check it out on the screen what we are getting here you can see that this is a user component is injected here now in the parents ts file here is it is let's make a function let's make a function with the name of parent function so that you can easily just tag out what is the function name and here this is defined so this is parent function and let's uh, just write here console dot one or console dot log that you just want to use data and this data will be passed from the function now let's pass this function to the child component for that let's come in the app dot component dot html file and here just use just make an event with the name of call parent function right let's make capital p here and we can just use the our parent function here like this and we can just pass the dollar event property all right let's make this function two two lines now this is looking clear okay after that let's directly go to the child component ts file this is a user dot component dot ts this is a child component and here we have to import the two things one is the output and another is the event emitter like this now let's uh, get the value in the uh, output uh, directive like output this will be a basically a function right and now we can just define the function name which is we are just accepting as in uh, from the parent component like this so and let's define the type of it so it will be a event emitter because from here we are just calling it like an event so and we can just pass the type of it it can be any type and let's make an instance of event emitter all right and we can make uh, define the type of this one also like any and this is basically a function right so now this is more clear to you perfect after doing this we can just call this function inside uh, any event like this dot uh, sorry this dot call parent function dot emit because this is the basically a emit instance so now let's try now you can see that okay we just we just have to pass some data here mm, let's say just data from child component like this now you can see that we got the data from the child component so even we can this is as you know that this is just consoling here in the parent component all right and we are just passing the data from the child component even you can just pass some uh, Objects also like anil c2 right so now let's try to call this function on a event so 
let's make another function on click and something like that and just directly call this function from here and let's choose this function in the uh, any button click or anything else like click me right and now just simply pass it the click function like this all right so now let's see what we are getting here whenever i'm just going to click on now you can see that we are getting the data from child component all right so thanks for watching this video if you still have any kind of confusion you can ask me in the comment box don't forget to subscribe my channel and like this, like this video and yes the question is that as you know we just seen that the uh, the we just passed data from data from child to component as with the help of event emitter is it possible that we can just pass the data without the help of event emitter if yes then just commit your answer if no then then you can just still your commit your answer and even you can just if you just want to mention the region then this is also good so bye bye take care